sunshines! So today, I'm going to be doing another book haul! This book haul is specifically another library book haul. So, deja vu anyone? Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys six books that I've picked up because I have three more that are on hold at the library that still haven't come in yet. Oh. So re-watching my own previous library book haul, I remembered there were a few books that I had picked up that I never got around to reading or finishing. The first is The Perfume Collector by Kathleen Tessero. It is set in London in 1955, who there is a young woman that ends up receiving a letter with an inheritance. She's never heard of the benefactress and a journey and story kind of unfolds and happens because of this inheritance she supposedly was given and there are perfumes involved. Obviously the perfume collector is the title and it's just gotten some really great reviews and I'm interested to read it. Um, hopefully I will have time to finish this this time. The second book is Tomorrow There Will Be Apricots by Jessica Soffer. I will read to you a paragraph of the inside cover once again. It says, This story is about accepting the people we love, the people we have to love, and the people we choose to love. The families we're given and the families we make. It's about these two women who end up becoming friends because of their joint love of food and as they be Begin to befriend each other and realize how connected they are. They realize that that connection goes much farther and deeper than food. Um, and I just think it's really interesting. It's also gotten some really great reviews and I'm interested to give this a read. I know it's been on a lot of people's book lists in the past and I'm sort of late to the bandwagon, but whatever, I'm gonna try it. And this is from my previous book haul again. I have no idea what to expect from this book. This book looks a lot like something my friend Marissa would really like. I don't know if she's read it or not. I don't know if you've read this, Marissa, but if you have, let me know in the comments below if it was good. If not, I'll let you know if you should read it. It's called Blood's Pride by Evie Maniri. I picked up this book because of the cover I told you guys last time, and that is true. Um, it just is an interesting looking book about Norlanders and pirates and it's a fantasy novel adventure ensues and it just seems interesting. It might be awful, it might be great. I will let you guys know. The fourth book is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Aleri Senez. I'm really bad at names with emphases, but Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. This book has been talked about a lot. Hey, 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 hey! Stupid cat. This book has been discussed a lot by a lot of different booktubers, so it had to make my list because it's out there in the circles right now making its rounds. It's an interesting book that is essentially about these two boys, Ari and Dante, who need to call on the strength of their friendship in order to become men essentially and it's just this sort of interesting bond between two friends and I don't know. I'm interested to read it. I really don't know a lot about this book but like I said it's been making its rounds throughout the booktubers and I just feel like I wanted to give it a read. Plus I think the title is really cool and clever and the cover is beautiful and I'm a sucker for good titles and book covers. So there you have it. This next book I'm only going to be holding it because it's the only one that I have that came in. It's called The Elite by Kiera Cass, and this is the second book in the selection series by Kiera Cass. Unfortunately, and as my luck would have it, the second book came in before the first book. Um, I'm looking at the website right now, and this first book is finally in. So I really, really am excited to read this book. I want to read the series very badly. I'm interested to weigh in with my two cents on this book, um, on this series. The covers are gorgeous. I've seen these books in person, like at Costco, I saw the third book and I was breathtaking taken. I was breathtaking. My breath was taken away from me because it was so beautiful and I think I just want to buy the books because of the covers if nothing else. So I'm really excited to read this. I don't know if any of you guys have read The Princess Academy. I don't remember who the author is but it's essentially um, eh, these girls are sent off to learn how to become princesses in this coal mining town and then they are basically chosen from 
the prince gets to choose one of them to be his bride or somehow, I don't really remember how it all went, but this is a very similar storyline where these girls are selected and then they are groomed and in order to be chosen one of them hopefully by the prince or something like that. Not necessarily a co totally unique storyline or story arc, but I'm interested to see what she's done with it. And I guess I'm just interested to see what all the fuss is about. I also have the one on request at the library and also a book called The Sea of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong. I saw this in a booktube video and I'm not really sure why I liked it or what it was about but I put it on hold so there you have it. Hopefully that book will come in soon but not before I get back from Florida. Okay and the final and ninth book in my book haul is The Goddess Test by Amy Carter. As you can see I've already started reading it. This girl named Kate her mother is sick and dying of cancer and she ends up meeting this boy called Henry who isn't just anyone, it happens that he's actually god of the underworld. It's this interesting storyline where she essentially gets to live out the life of Prometheus from the Greek myth and in order to save her mother or at least keep her alive for a little while longer and there are tests involved, seven tests that she has to pass and if she does she might become, well she might, she will become a goddess and sort of take Prometheus's place at Hades side which is so interesting and um, I'm not disappointed with it so far. It's pretty cool. I think that there's another book in this series by now but interesting premise for a book and I'm liking it so far. Okay, so that is my library book haul from June 2014. Not quite sure how I'll do the whole reviewing thing. Probably most of these reviews will just go on my Goodreads page. The link is down below. You can check that out. But I definitely foresee a few of these books being video reviews, so stay tuned for that. Like I think I will definitely do a video review of The Goddess Test, a video review of the Selection series, and who knows, I might do a collective video review of the others, but I will definitely do reviews on my Goodreads page as well as potentially my blog. So be sure to check those out and stay tuned for a lot more book videos coming up in the near future, which is really exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying your week and day and life wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!